internet. Basic Sorgonomics, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter. And I got a thing over here that's animating and then distracting me from my podcast. So I'm going to close that thing. That's right. Uh, a lot of things are distracting these days. Social media in general, podcast, this video, for instance, that you made time to listen to or watch. Thank you. Thank you for arriving with me. Um, but anyways, uh, no, I had some ideas and, and um, I've had this this kind of thought for a while as, as I've watched, um, you know, my nephew go through high school and deal with uh, a, a world where his high school career now has Facebook. And, and it's always been a thing. And I, I know I've probably talked about this on here as well in the past. Um, but we're definitely in a world that uh, is a lot different than when a lot of us probably grew up through it. Uh, when, when, I, when I was going through high school, the worst thing I had going on was, was an IRC and ICQ. And definitely not quite as imposing on that dial-up connection. And not everybody had it. It wasn't as, um, is not, it wasn't as widespread as, as a Facebook or a Twitter account, or whatever the kid, or a Snapchat, or whatever the kids are doing these days. Uh, technology got me in enough trouble when I was in high school. Could you imagine having the unfettered access to media devices like we have now? Um, but any, but but I think the biggest thing is, I'm wondering how much education is happening. Now I don't have kids. I have no idea. Uh, I only hear kind of tangentially uh, how our wonderful educational system is doing. And then, yes, this is something else parents have to worry about these days. And I feel so uh, disheartened uh, and, and, and bad for the uneducated uh, to the way a lot of this world is. It probably sounds a lot worse than I intended it now that I think about that. But uh, we're in a world where your kids are going to be affected in some way about the way we communicate about your Facebook, about Twitter. When, uh, when, when I was a kid, uh, it, if I was bullied in school, that stopped when I got off the bus. Probably not until I got off the bus, but it stopped when I got off the bus. And I was free and clear till I got on the bus the next morning at like 7 a.m. and then had to deal with it for another, uh, what, eight hours. Um, and then I was done again. I could go watch my cartoons and be myself. And mom said that was awesome. But, <laughs> but now depending on the access the kids have and, and let's face it the, the more nine times out of ten they have all that access that bullying can continue it's going to be messages to a phone it's going to be online it's going to be whatever the case may be in some way it could be snapchat especially at teenagers because uh, apparently we're giving all of our kids cell phones at this point and maybe you think the decision but let's be honest they'll find a way and it continues or maybe they know people are talking about them throughout the night i think this is and you say, well, this is this is outside the realm. This is this is uh, way more access than anybody needed to, to 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 have. And I think it's akin to a societal change. Obviously, um, we had to learn how to deal with being on a phone at some per- point as a society. None of us remember that. None of us had to deal with that. If you listen to this, probably not old enough to remember something like that. You know, maybe you barely remember a rotary dial phone as I do uh, from from my early, 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 early days. It was fascinating to me. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I think, yes, it's going to fall on parents. Yes, it's going to the schools. I remember having some sort of not a manners class, but the, like, a little bit of civil education. This is how you need to behave in the world kind of situation going, especially in elementary school. And unfortunately, part of that is going to be how do we deal with being online and the permanence of being online. There's career schooling happening. Say, this is how you go interview. This is how you go look for a job when you get to a certain point of high school. Well, part of that's going to be, this is how you don't mar yourself for your rest of your life by doing something stupid on Facebook. And let's be honest, half the kids aren't going to listen because they're kids. But still, that needs to be part of the discussion as they go. And unfortunately, uh, and and I don't. This is not a fault. I'm not. I'm not trying to demonize teachers or parents in this case. But they don't know what they don't know, or how important that thing they don't know is, and that sometimes doesn't get across. I think we're definitely getting a case where uh, there's probably enough new blood coming in that does understand this technology, um, depending from school to school, that may be able to help with that. Um, but there definitely needs to be a little bit of help in there. And, uh, and like I said, the kids are going to make mistakes. 
bad things are going to happen online. Uh, embarrassing things are going to happen online. But I see adults that can't even handle being online or not realizing um, in even recent memory, um, you know, they're starting to start a company and realizing the things that they are saying, sharing online are going to affect the people that they're asking for money for to start a company. They want to partner with. They're looking for business from. It's all going to roll back. And, and you know, we, everybody's th- talking about personal brands and everything, but that is part of it. You have a personal brand online un- unless you've privatized everything you've done online um, to whoever you are going to work with. And, and if you can't sit back and own that and not use it as an excuse, then there's a little bit of a problem there. Um, and it's going to get harder. It's certainly going to get harder. If there's something out there where a teacher goes to a seminar and learns about the dangers of Facebook, well, in three years, or actually next year, or maybe this year, they need to figure out what Snapchat is and the problems that can happen with it. Um, I think if you know Snapchat, you know you know the privacy concerns that can happen there and what some of the kids may be doing over there. Um, But in the meantime, um, there needs to be not, when I've, when I taught design, when I, when I I see people talking about teaching coding is you're not learning the language. You're not learning PHP. You're not learning how to use Adobe Photoshop. You're learning concepts and there needs to be a general basis for this is how you behave no matter what the tool is online how you carry on um the per understanding the permanency of what you're doing um and in general just like in day-to-day reacting in certain ways can be detrimental to you know how you are perceived in society um how you respond on facebook is the same way a business is embarrassed whether they realize it or not when they respond to a bad uh, review on a Yelp or a tweet or a review or a blog with basically flaming back at them. That's a social skill and a very important one, especially if you're running a business. And I know I'm jumping from personal to business on that, but I think it transcends a little bit. So I I think, I think it's, I don't have any answers. Uh, (laughs) <laughs> just kind of something that's on my mind, and and I'd love to hear some conversation on you. What do you think about this? Um, um, what are the 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 perils of trying to uh, uh, do this sort of education? I'm hoping some of the stuff that's coming up will be a part of helping to spread the good word uh, and, and helping to educate people on that. Because uh, I'm looking to do uh, some stuff around the uh, local libraries as well. It's a small part that we can do um, to, to help people, and, and, and even the ones that we've done in the past with the pod camp, um, the pod camp boot camps that we've done with the Carnegie Library main branch. These were the people coming in. These were the the parents that don't know. Uh, some some people came in and they didn't even know how to use a mouse, and now we're explaining them. So we have to work on our prerequisites, obviously, but we're explaining to them what a Facebook is, what a Twitter is, what is Pinterest, why is this important, how do you stay safe, how do you not misbehave on these things, because there is a social contract when you're on any of these platforms. And there's a EULA, of course, that says, hey, don't hate speech, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this, the community will kick you out. And I think that's important to understand as well. And hopefully we're doing a part to let that let them get educated so now they understand at least a little bit more what their kids are doing and can more appropriately um, worry or not worry about what they're seeing on there as well. Tell me what you think. Uh, Sorgatron.com at Sorgatron on Twitter. Educate. Educate somebody. Educate your grandpa. Educate your mom about what the heck this thing is. Don't have to be afraid of it as long as you understand it. At least a little bit. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.